car hater here. Oh boy, I'll tell you. So anyway, last we saw my buddy Mike over here, he bought a Buick, but then he reneged on the deal. He got out of it because, you know, they told him basically they don't want to take his infinity, that he's like 10,000 upside down. So what does he do? He ends up getting an Escalade. Now this is months later too, by the way. And all he kept bragging to me was how clean the truck is. Yeah, it's clean, it's clean, it's clean. So first off, I come right out to it. This bumper is totally fucked up. And it's got a fucking crack down here. Look at this, look at this. Also, this bump has been resprayed. You can see all the pit marks in it. Really bad job. So hold on, let's go around. Looks dirty over here. Let me see. So I got a lot of silicone on there. Let me see what else we see. Got a little chip here. Got a little bang. I don't know, it looks actually a little dirty, like. This really hasn't been cleaned in a long time. Yeah, check this out. See how the rust is forming underneath there? Yeah. Also, look at this. This tire is totally shot. Yeah, needs a new tire. But he's telling me how super clean this is. This tire is good. Bridgestone. So most likely what happened here is, guys, that they did a swap. You know what? Let me take a look at the back tire. I wasn't even paying attention. Yep. Yeah, they're bolding out. So what they did is they did a swap because obviously maybe there's a little problem with the suspension. Yeah, look at this here. This is fucked up. Come on, open this piece of shit. This fucking piece of shit. I don't know. Damn, this thing smells like smoke already. Oh, it smells like brand new my ass. Fucking bullshit. Loser Central. Let me see back here. Okay, a little dirty. Not bad though, compared to his other ones. Got some little dirt on. They didn't even fucking clean this truck. That's for sure. So this jerk off here, what he did was. Now, what he did is he got himself a vehicle because he was an emotional buyer, just like everybody else. I love the truck. I love the truck. So. Good job, you didn't even put the fucking parking brake on. That's the whole point of a parking brake. Don't fucking smash into everything in my new truck over there either. Sir, we gotta get to that anyway what, soon. An ambulance? No. This fucking hot ass GMC right there, bitch. Garbage. Yeah, garbage. I'm paying less than you. So anyway, how much you paying on this junk? Four. Dick, this fucking thing got a crack in the windshield! What the hell? That's free through the insurance anyway. What are you talking about? <laughs> Are you serious? This can't pass inspection with that. What are you doing, man? Did you see that? No, there was a sticker on it. <laughs> oh my god. So anyway, how much you paying for this shit? $450. So what Mike did was, he did a real smart move. He told him, listen, I want to be up my exact same payment, right? So he already created his payment for the finance manager to make it up. So in other words, this thing here, I don't know how we got to 18000 It's supposed to be 14000 So then they threw in some like $2,000 fees. Then they threw in a $2,000 warranty he didn't need. And that's how he got back up to 18000 with the taxes and all this other shit. So basically, he should be in the threes, but he's at four fifty on this payment. Some weird-ass fucking term, too. 52 months. I've never seen anything. Oh, go to Jay's on the Bay. And I don't know. So anyway... He tells me last night, because he was fucking obliviated, he says, yeah, man, I'm at the same payment. I says, how'd you do that? That's impossible. They didn't take in the infinity. So he didn't want to tell me that they did take in the, they didn't take in the infinity. So what this fucking jerk off is doing is he's going to leave it out there. So they come and repo it and then they're going to garnish his fucking paycheck. He didn't want to do that with the Buick, but he wants to do it with this. This thing ain't riding so good. Yo, you know this car needs back tires, too. Look at that shit, too, back there, you stupid fuck. The fucking rear defrost ain't working because it's broken off. Is that a tab, or can you push that thing back on there? Huh? Better hope so. I don't know. Does anybody look at cars anymore? Listen, here's what we got to do. Green. Here's what we got to do, guys. I am going to create a new program, okay? The car hater fucking looking over your shit program. So I'm going to start to teach people for 2020 how to buy a car the right way. 
because I see there's a big problem in the industry. People don't know how to look at cars. They don't know how to buy cars. They become emotional buyers. That is the worst thing you could ever do at a dealership. See, they prey on people who are emotional buyers. So what they did is they had the girl fucking pump his head up and then they throw him into the finance office. That's exactly what happens. This is all a game, guys. This is stuff that we create in the dealership in order to make money on special fi. Okay, that's what it's all about. People, dealerships love special five people because they prey on them because they know they can't get approved and if they can get the deal done, they're so happy they'll take anything after sitting there for like eight hours. How long were you at the dealership? A long time. Yeah, about eight hours. See, I know what the fuck I'm talking about but nobody wants to listen to me. I don't understand. Make a left. Yeah. You know, I, I don't get it. Why don't people fucking listen to me? Can you explain that question to me? Why don't you fucking listen? Why? You think I don't know what I'm talking about? Full of shit. Yeah, That's fuck the- off. Where's the fucking paperwork on this motherfucker? I'd love to read it. Get the fuck out of here. Look at this shit. Go. Fucking jerk off central, man. I don't get it, man. Nobody listens. Guys, what you want to look at is this. This is the most important thing before you sign and drive. All right? Where the fuck is this, please? Maybe Shut up. It's right. to the right. So... What happens is this big-ass yellow piece of paper. This is done on those fucking Oki data machines, too. All right? Let's see what we got here. You got negative. You got 2,000. This thing was, what, 16,189? Okay. Default company service contract. I don't know what the fuck. This must be their dealership fee, the 2750. So all the fees together was 2965. It came out to $18,000. That's a lot of money, man, for this truck. Now, here's the funny thing. He didn't want, he didn't want the other car. How much is the fucking uh, percent? 15, eight, almost 16% interest. So when it's all said and done, you would have paid $27,000 for a 2012, this is a 2012, right? Yep. 2012, okay, with 144,000 miles at 54 payments, excuse me, 475 a month. Now, here's the deal. He thinks that this car has better value on it. So I look up on MMR. What MMR is, is a Mannheim report. And that's the basically one of the biggest um, auction sites in the country for car dealers. Okay. There's Mannheim, there's Odessa, but it, Mannheim's kind of like the king, right? So anyway, Mannheim has all the numbers and it kind of gives you instant data of uh, what vehicles are worth their trade-in value. So this is actually worth about 11.7. It takes a hit. No, we're going Jay's on the bag. Um, it's worth 11.7. The funny thing is the Infinity, he's got about 75,000 miles on that. That's also worth 11.7. They're actually equal for trade-in value. So there you have it, guys. Yeah, but next year, that Infinity will be worth 3,500. No, it won't. What do you think this is going to be worth next year? You got to realize these something. All their value. Mike, I'm these better. motherfuckers with 200,000 miles are going for 6,500 now. What are you talking about? All right. And I showed you them on fucking uh, hey, Facebook Marketplace. Complete junk. No. How do you know complete junk? I got to admit, these trucks do hold up. It's not like they don't. They're not bad trucks. They, they they can take the beating, you know? It's not like they can. So so that's the thing. Oh, so what's up with that tank of gas, too? Oh, shit. How much gas money? 12 miles to the gallon? That's not bad, actually. So there you have it. You got gas money? Yes, sir. Shut up. He ain't got no gas money. There you go. Here's another car hater edition of what not to do at the dealership. There you go. Go fuck yourself. Yep. So anyway, as I got out of this, I found more shit wrong with it. It has a bent wheel. We checked the car facts. This thing was hit three times. So, this thing, look at the fucking hood. This thing's been into, thing's been into three accidents. That's why you always bring fucking car hater to come look at cars for you. It was hit in the rear. Those back tires are bald. Oh, oh, yo. Pop the hood. You got to fix that. Uh, what do you call it? You got to fix that thing. The air box is also loose. It's not even connected. Look at this. Look at this. How do you inspect this car with a cracked windshield? Shut this garbage truck off. Check this out, guys. AC ain't fucking working. Look at that. Put it down to, you know, 60, everything. Shit is fucked.